rahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahirobbilalamin. Assalatu wassalamu ala ashrofil ambia iwal mursalin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajmain amma ba'du. First of all, let's thank to Allah who has given us mercy and blessing until we can meet in this place today. Salawat and salam, let's deliver to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hopefully, will get his syafaat in the judgment day. Amin, amin, ya rabbal alamin. The honorable of global strategies and cross-cultural advisor of Rosetta Stone USA, Mr. Troy Darrell Tallis, Rector of ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta, Dr. Muhair Pakana SAMM, Vice Rector of Curriculum Affair, Associate Professor Setia Budi MSI, Vice Rector of Financial Affairs Yayat Sujatna SA MSI, Advisor Council of ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta, Professor Doctor Engineering Haji Kusmawan MBA DBA. PT Jagat Rancang Nusantara as the representative of Rosetta Stone Indonesia and all academicians including the Dean of Faculties, Chief of Majors, Lecturers and all the students of ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta welcome to our agenda today as the collaborative project between ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta and Rosetta Stone Indonesia with the team English for our future. With the keynote speaker, Mr. Troy Delar Tellus, as the global strategist and cross-cultural advisor of Rosetta Stone USA. Ladies and gentlemen, let's open our agenda today by reciting Basmalah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. For the second agenda is the profile video of ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta. Everyone, happy watching. This is the place for you to achieve your dreams. The vision of ITB Ahmad Dahlan is to be an excellent college on technology and business field, which competence is based on progressing Islamic values and also has an international reputation. Officially founded on January 1st, 1968, with formally named as Muhammad Dihbang Academy, ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta keeps developing towards Social Technopreneur University. ITB Ahmad Dahlan has nice study programs ranging from Diploma, Sharia Finance Master Study, graduates programs such as Technology of Information, System of Information, Visual Design Communication, Architecture Management Accounting 
Diplomatic Refinance. Banking and also Accounting. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta. Institute of Technology and Business Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta. This campus develops scientific competencies and skill in technology and business to respond to the development of the digital economy era. ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta has two faculties, namely the Faculty of Digital Economics and the Faculty of Engineering and Design, and then have nine departments. Let's join ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta Socio Technopreneur University. Talk. Moreover, ITB Ahmad Dahlan has good accreditation for its institution and each study program categorized very well from the National Accreditation Board of Indonesian Higher Education or BNPT. Every program study in ITB Ahmad Dahlan has a complete facilities and infrastructure such as computer laboratories, minibank laboratories, accounting laboratories, picture studios, photo studios, and other facilities and infrastructure. Internationalization becomes the ITB Ahmad Dahlan vision. ITB Ahmad Dahlan has collaboration with various foreign universities. We have made various achievements. The spirit of creativity and innovation of the lectures and students has resulted in awards at various national and international levels. Students and lecturers continue to collaborate in developing research and community service and preaching in practicing Islamic progressives values. Saya yakin bahwa kesuksesan dan keberhasilan adalah milik semua orang. Di sini kami dibentuk menjadi pribadi yang sukses dan berkarakter. Kami juga dididik menjadi ilmuwan yang menjunjung tinggi nilai-nilai. Saya merasa beruntung dan bangga bisa kuliah di ITB Ahmad Dahlan. We are ready to create and build civilization. ITB Ahmad Dahlan, Socio Technopreneur University. Mr. Troy, that our lovely campus, ITB Ahmad Dahlan, Jakarta. Thank you everyone for your coming while offline and online. Thank you so much. For the third agenda is Rector Preface. The preface will be delivered online via Zoom. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. Alhamdulillah. <coughs> Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin. La haula wala quwata illa billah. The honorable Mr. Troy de Villas, global strategist or Cross Cultural Advisor for Rosetta Stone, USA. Thank you very much for attending ITB Ahmad Dahlan, Jakarta. Welcome, healthy and happy always. My brother, President Director of PT Jagat Rancang Nusantara. Bapak Muhammad Nizar, juga Pak Agus, and then my senior, Professor Dr. Muhammad Kusmawan, MSCDBA, lecturer of ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta, advisor of 
of spiritual <laughs> and motivator. Uh, and then vice rector of academic affairs, Bapak Sutia Budi, vice rector of finance, facilities, and infrastructure, Bapak Yayat Sejatna, uh, Dean of Economics and Business, Pak Amin, Dean of Engineering and Design, Ibu Elia, Lecturer at ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta, Dear Brother and Sister, Student and Participant of the Rosetta Stone course. Peace to all my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Always give mercy and blessing to us all. Alhamdulillah, we are still given the opportunity to gather in this blended meeting or hybrid gathering via Zoom in good health. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am sorry, I cannot attend today in the offline join at the campus ITB Ahmad Dalan Jakarta Ciputat because I have a busy day outside which I have to finish today. I am sorry. Once again, I'm sorry and thank you for all. Uh, today, we will discuss with Mr. Detail, Troy Detailers on English for our future. Students will understand the importance of mastering English and skill in the future. And then globalization makes every country more dependent on other countries, the mobility of people, mobility of goods, mobility of uh, services, and mobility of uh, information from one country to another will be higher in the future. So I text a uh, young generation who has mastery and skill of English. ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta is a socio technopreneur university uh, prepare the younger generation or student who have mastery and skills of English. Alhamdulillah, since one year ago, ITV Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta has collaborated with Rosesa Stun through blended learning model with dynamic immersion method. Finally, we would like to thank the speakers, Mr. Troy De Tillers, Prof. Kusmawan, my brother, my senior, and uh, Rosetta Stun Indonesia team, the host of the meeting, the host of meeting, Miss Felma, Miss Uro, Miss Henny, Mr. Irwan, etc. The participants and especially for the student uh, who we are very, very proud of. Thank you for all. Healthy and happy always. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
Thank you so much, Dr. Muhair Pakana, SAMM, as Rector of ITB Ahmad Dahlan, for your preface. The next agenda is the profile video of Rosetta Stone. Everyone, happy watching. You repeated the words. Maybe they ask you to catch it or throw it back to them. Without realizing it, you learn the object's name, how to describe it, and what the actions are called, all in the context of your surroundings and without translation. Sights and sounds became words. Words turned into sentences. Sentences evolved into conversations. It's a natural progression, and that's how you'll learn with Rosetta Stone. The key to our proven method is that you're not only learning to speak, you're learning to think in your new language. We're able to accelerate this process by introducing new words and concepts in a carefully designed sequence. This way you'll continuously build on what you've learned. There's nothing else like it. So even if you've tried and failed with other methods before, you'll be surprised how quickly you'll learn with Rosetta Stone. We call this method of tapping into your natural ability, dynamic immersion. You'll call it the most effective, interactive, and fun way to learn a new language. Okay, give applause for us. The next agenda is the core agenda. The Honorable Mr. Troy Delartalus to deliver your material because you are weighted by everyone to deliver the material about the position of English for our future. Please welcome everyone. Mr. Troy has flown away from USA to come to this agenda today. Mr. Troy also has alias just like related to his family, Troy Tillus. Troy Daryl Tillus related to Duan Tillus, 56 Daryl Tillus, 79 Heather Tillus, 55 Mariam Tillus, 44 Nancy Tillus, 76. Yes, Mr. Todd, your, the time and the place is yours. Thank you so much. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Hello, everyone. May peace be upon all of you. Thank you so much for having me here today. It has been beyond measure. And I'm so excited for all of you. But first and foremost, let me, let me congratulate all of you for the accomplishment that you've been doing, what you've been doing with the language learning, language acquisition. It's not easy, but you all are very, Perhaps it is better, yes. So again, congratulations on all of your efforts for language learning, language acquisition. Again, I know it's not easy, but you will see the fruits of rewards if you continue to study. And today we're going to briefly talk about a little bit about language learning and why it's so important, how it can change your lives. Next slide, please. Of course, you're all very familiar with Rosetta Stone for higher education. I've been with Rosetta Stone for over 11 years, and I've worked globally in many countries. Rosetta Stone for higher education, we've helped many, many students like yourselves find their voice in the English language as well as others. Next slide. The Rosetta Stone mission is something that's very important to us. It's very near and dear to our hearts. Our mission in Rosetta Stone is that Rosetta Stone is dedicated to changing people's lives through the power of language education. Again, through the power of language education. Language is power. Every person can learn to read, write, and speak with confidence. Every person. There should be nothing stopping you. And again, let me take a moment to honor all of you for your efforts and your language learning. 
continue. Continue and you will see your life transformed. Next slide, please. Language is truly more than just words on a page. By acquiring a second language, you're able to promote equity. It builds confidence. Learning different perspectives, understanding the world around you, not only here in Indonesia, but outside and beyond. It will help develop leadership skills for you, intercultural communication skills, and critical thinking skills. It will deeply help you begin to understand and be able to problem solve. It strengthens characteristics such as adaptability, flexibility, and the very last one I like, courage. I know sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's maybe even terrifying to speak a language that's not your own, to speak with someone that is not from your own culture. But through the power of language, you're able to transcend that and you're able to truly truly become adaptable, flexible, and courageous. So again, thank you so much for your honor to have me here today. And I congratulate all of you for your effort and your work to truly become courageous with language learning. Next slide, please. A little bit about Rosetta Stone is that we're very much with sustainable goals. And we have a shared objective, a common global objective. We would like to foster social inclusion across the region and throughout the entire world through language learning. Next slide, please. So what are we hearing from global universities such as your own? English and or additional language is now a requirement for graduation. Is this correct? Correct. More and more and more. <laughs> yes. So the current solution and what you're doing now is not effective. So individual speaking is not enough. What we're doing now is helping you with a software with artificial intelligence that can take your language learning and beyond, working with your educators, with your teachers to blend that to help you truly become a speaker of the language you're studying. But we have challenges to find teachers sometimes. And again, this is where a lot of the blended learning comes in and is very crucial. Digital transformation is a key focus. As we move into the future, technology moves forward. And I know that all of you understand that. I have a nine-year-old daughter. I think she knows more about technology than I do. It's amazing. I think all of you probably know more technology than I do. It's the future. When you blend the two, when you put everything together, you will see amazing results. And that's what Rosetta Stone can do for you. So students like yourselves are hungry and excited to have content. That's why Rosetta Stone has been introduced. That's why you've been using it. And graduation, Rates increase, and again, for universities, enrollments, highly engaged students equals higher graduation. This is what the power of language can do. Next slide, please. So what do we know about the importance of English? Well, English is the most spoken language in the world, spoken by one out of five individuals worldwide. 70% of language students report having more confidence working in teams or working with individuals on a global scale. And you're able to resolve problems quicker because you're able to see a larger vision, to see a global perspective. 85% of the pages on the internet, as we talk about technology, are in English. So that opens up a whole new world. The more English that you have, at your disposal and your command, you're able to have access to more information. And finally, English is the official language 
of 45 countries worldwide. Next slide. So why global higher education institutions must continue to invest in language training? Well, of course, first and foremost, to prepare your workforce for the ever-changing global market. This is key. All of you, as you move forward with your studies, as you move to graduation, what will you do then? You'll be into the workforce looking for jobs, looking for positions. A command of the English language will only promote you more and more and more in a better light. Professional development as well for teachers and staff is very important. And supporting digital transformation efforts. Digital transformation is technology that's advancing fast. And it, we must embrace it. Again, like my daughter, she's embraced it. She is able to now understand things on a very high level because transformation and technology has changed so quickly. Expanding your portfolio of languages. Of course, we're studying English, but additional languages, any language is going to open, open up doors for you. So always keep that in mind, keep that in your hearts. And finally, providing a learning experience with communicative emphasis. The, the communication is key. We can learn a language, but if we can't communicate in that language, what will that language do for us? Not much. Next slide, please. So Rosetta Stone has been chosen because it is an effective and efficient solution. Next slide. The Rosetta Stone Catalyst software that you have access to provides coverage, everything from our beginner levels with a natural approach, as you've heard with a dynamic immersion, where you're put into an immersive environment, where you're forced to learn that language, just like you would be if you were living in a country that spoke that language. As you progress, you begin really to go into the communicative approach where you're starting to express yourself on a much deeper level. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. The Rosetta Stone software has been based off of CIFR results historically. But the Rosetta Stone software aligns up to and is equivalent to the other results that you see here, including the IELTS, TOEFL, TOEIC, which are key for this region, for you to understand why it's important. And while CIFR may not be so widespread here in Indonesia, the fact is, is that everything you do within the Rosetta Stone software is 100% aligned up to IELTS, TOEFL, TOEIC. It is preparing you for the different levels in all of those areas. Next slide, please. Here is just a, com a quick com a comparability of levels. Taking the IELTS, the TOEFL, Cambridge, TOEIC, and then comparing it to the C for scoring so that you can understand it is exactly the same. We at Rosetta Stone may have originally based off of the C for for very specific reasons. As you progress from an A1 to an A2 level in the C for, you're also progressing at the same rate that you see here in the slide. So if you are equivalent to a B1 or B2, you can see the exact level in the IELTS, for example. 4.5 to 6. And we can also break that down to even more specific information. So again, what you're doing is a standard globally. The software you're using is preparing you globally. It's going to help you take your career and your lives to another level. The language is power. Language is power. Next slide, please. The Rosetta Stone solution is a complete solution. So those of you that are familiar with it, you have the Rosetta Stone entrance into the solution. It's a seamless experience. You have rich content. 
And in some cases, in some locations, we actually provide tutoring. But in this case, no. But the detailed reporting and so on, we can track progress. Next slide, please. So for educators out there that are listening in and, and, and learning about Rosetta Stone, Rosetta Stone offers assessments internally. We're able to assess the student journey, their language at an initial point and help them assess moving forward. Next slide, please. Rosetta Stone offers over 40 different types of activity that have been specifically designed for language acquisition, for language learning, to put the power of language in your hands. Again, congratulations. What you've all done, the work you put in, the hard work you put in is phenomenal. I congratulate you. Next slide. As you move towards fluency, you begin to get into very specific professions and tasks that you can learn about that will help you with your professional goals, your professional careers. As you go from graduation into the workforce, you'll begin to be able to access and have content that will help you become an expert in these areas. Next slide, please. As you see here, a lot of you are very familiar with the initial offering of Rosetta Stone. The way that it truly breaks it down and it has a unique speech recognition that helps you perfect your language ability. Next slide, please. Additionally, the Rosetta Stone software can be utilized at any time, anywhere offline. Next slide, please. You have certificates of accomplishment that are available, achievements. Next slide. And Rosetta Stone not only offers the English language, but we offer 24 different languages. Remember, what did I say before? Language is Language is power. Let's try that one more time. Language is power. Absolutely. Language is power. It opens up the global door for you. Language is power. So think about that as you move forward and you're mastering the English language. Rosetta Stone also offers additional language that can open up doors for you globally. Next slide, please. And we have multiple types of implementation. I'll finish with this today. Next slide, please where we have in course face-to-face -face learning. We have the blended learning model, as well as we have the completely online learning that can be used and added for students. So our software can be utilized in a multitude of ways to help you learn the language that you're studying. Bottom line, why is this all important? Why am I here today? Why have I come to represent Rosetta Stone Global to be with all of you? Because again, language is power. Language is power. Exactly, language is power. Next slide. So finally, I'll leave you with this. What guarantees success? Well, the commitment from your university leaders. Do you have the commitment of your university leaders? Absolutely, 100%. Or as they say in Arabic, Mia, fil, Mia. 100%, Mia, fil, Mia. They are committed. That is why we are here today with all of you. That's why you are here today with us. We are committed to each other to help you with this language journey, and we're excited. Next slide, please. So with that said, I would like to say thank you. Shukran Katir. It has been my extreme pleasure to be here with you. Thank you so much for the warm hospitality. And at the end, we will have time for question and answer. So uh, begin to think about if you would have any, if you have any questions you would like to ask anything, we'll be available. But again, thank you so much, Shofran. This is Troy. After this is question and answer session. So you are Perfect. on the stage. Perfect. The next agenda is about to give about asking and answering session. So everyone in the first session, we
question that you can ask to Mr. Troy. Yeah, it comes to everyone. It can be a lecturer and also the student. Okay, please mention your name and also your major if you are a student. Thank you. Salam. Remember, language learning and language is giving you courage. You're amongst friends and family. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, I'm standing here to asking you something, uh, Mr. Troy. <laughs> What do you think about technological developments in Indonesia? Will it be relevant to the technology used by Rosetta Stone? Thank you. Fantastic question. What do we think? Okay, about? give applause. It's very powerful question. So the first question is high like about is the technology in Indonesia also support supported by the technology in Rosetta Stone in the application? Your time to answer. Excellent, ex excellent question. Thank you so much. And thank you for having the courage to ask the question, especially the courage to ask the question first. So I applaud you. Uh, yes, to respond to the question, uh, Rosetta Stone software on the tech technological side um, requires very low bandwidth. So in regards to the technology, it's very easily supported, uh, which is one of the reasons that it's, it's, a, it's really a phenomenal option to blend into solutions that you're currently using and working with your wonderful and very uh, esteemed educators. So it absolutely, uh, is able to be to be blended because technologically speaking, uh, it's it's a, the solution doesn't require much bandwidth or anything technical, and also with that it's able to be blended into a, into a, a edu uh, educational setting very easily and blended with your educators so that you can take your language learning from here with your educators to here. Great question. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Troy. So once again, Rosetta Stone application is supported by our technology in Indonesia because it's easy use, yeah? Okay, thank you. For the second question, please. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself. Mention, my please, your name. Yeah, Okay. I want to introduce myself. My name is Ziki Shafa Mubarak, and you can call me Ziki, right? Uh, I have a, a question about cross-cultural. It is that you said earlier that uh, English, uh, English, uh, uh, language is power, right? Yeah. Sometimes we had a multicultural and it can be uh, adapt to our cultural. Either. So the question is, uh, um, how we can adapt to cross-cultural quickly, and it is possible to do an assimilation in country where we are, uh, where we are belong. It's uh, example like uh, American cultural with featuring Indonesian cultural. Uh, like you said earlier, the language is power. So it is possible to do an assimilation. Thank you. Okay, thank you, good question. The question is related to cross-cultural understanding, Mr. Troy, because our first language is Bahasa Indonesia, while for uh, English in Indonesia is the foreign language. How to be assimilate for the different uh, cultural between Bahasa Indonesia and also English language, okay? Yeah, very great, great question. And Ziggy, yes, yeah. Uh, fantastic question. And so, so I think, again, with the Rosetta Stone software, coming back to Rosetta Stone and how Rosetta Stone was initially created, how Rosetta Stone was envisioned and, and what was out there 30 years ago when Rosetta Stone started, there really wasn't a software that prepared individuals like yourself to truly master language, but not just master the language, but to master the culture as well, meaning to understand, truly connect the language with the culture. 
And so our founding fathers are individuals that created the Rosetta Stone software understood that very well, that we needed to design something through dynamic immersion that would prepare learners, yourselves, all of you, to truly go in depth, to learn the language, not through translation to communication, which oftentimes culturally speaking and things get lost, to truly communication to communication. So really beginning to communicate in a dynamic, immersive way, like you're actually in that country, but you're utilizing artificial intelligence. So with the rise of artificial intelligence, we've developed that over 30 years. And within the software itself, not only just teaching the language, but we teach cultural aspects. Because again, we understand that you can learn a language and you can communicate, but if you can't communicate culturally speaking and break those cross-cultural boundaries, then you'll be at a loss and it's, it's problematic. But we teach both within the software that we prepare you not only to communicate, but to cross-culturally communicate, um, whether that's, again, coming from your culture and understanding other cultures, whether it's American culture, British culture, whether you're, if you were studying Japanese, so Japanese culture, whatever it may be, whatever language, but we incorporate that in the software itself to help break those cultural barriers so that you learn the language, you're able to communicate effectively immediately, and they're also able to understand cultural nuances so that you can put that into practice so that when you begin to interact with individuals in that culture, you're able to identify, to understand those nuances and to put it into practice. And I think here for yourself and for all of you, I think what you should begin to ask yourselves is, how do I begin to connect with individuals that speak this language, whether it's uh, Americans, whether it's uh, British individuals, that whoever you're looking to speak with and to understand their cultural um, background and language, begin to seek those out within your community. There are clubs, there are other things, there are, are expat communities, uh, expatriates, different things that you can then incorporate. You can use what you're learning, get the cultural insight with software such as Rosetta Stone, and then you take that out into your world here and begin to apply that with individuals that come from there. So yeah, phenomenal question. Thank you so much. Ooh, very nice. So once again, uh, Mr. Trahai likes that if you learn language, it's meant that you also learn the culture because language is a part of culture. That's the point, Mr. That is exactly okay. the point, 100%. Yep, from this side, maybe the third question, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I want to introduce myself. My name is Cynthia Kustanti. I want to ask something. Uh, uh, first of all, I would to like welcome to our campus to Mr. Troy. <laughs> uh, okay, my question is. What do you think uh, about English education in Indonesia? Is learning at Rosetta Stone easy for Indonesian to learn? Okay, that's all. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> very nice question. Yep, Mr. Troy, the yes. time is yours to answer. Thank you. Thank you. So, is is uh, what do I think of the Indonesian education and is Rosetta Stone uh, a useful software and tool for learning the English language, for example? Um, absolutely. So what do I think of the, the, the Indonesian education? Wonderful, in the sense that you have all of the opportunity before you. Coming back to, again, the support that you have that is right here with you today. The reason that I'm here is also reflecting of that, uh, to, to be here with all of you. So uh, education, as well as language, is power. And so the Indonesian education is providing you with opportunities for the future. So I think the, the education system is, is fantastic. And the fact that the educational institutions here in Indonesia have warmly welcomed and have embraced language learning is a demonstration of that. So with the English language in regards to learning English effectively, yes. Again, the Rosetta Stone software provides an avenue, provides access to language learning that puts you in an environment, in an in a artificial intelligence environment, but it puts you in an environment that simulates exactly how it would be 
if you were in the country that spoke that language. So if you're studying American English, for example, it's providing you access to that world, but in a virtual environment, preparing you to then later interact with individuals such as myself. And again, thank you for your question. And exactly, this is it. So what you've done, I congratulate you for your language learning journey. And the fact that you're sitting here today talking to me, an American that has come across the world to be here with you, and we're able to communicate and understand each other, speaks to that. So. OK. We have already three questions. Two questions left, maybe from this side. OK. Oh, yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Kuku Daruningsi. As, uh, as for reason, Mister, uh, I I not really like uh, English language, but I need uh, English language in my prodi uh, because. Because uh, my prodi is uh, IT, Mister. And how the tips? Uh, and I wanna ask uh, how the tips for me, because I not really like English. Uh, yeah, like okay. that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's all for me. Yeah, thank you very thank much. You. Assalamualaikum very warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So the question is about actually she is uh, IT, yeah. IT, yeah. Okay. So one of the major for uh, the class material broke uh, used by English. So uh, according to you, what is the best type to easily understand about that material in English? Yeah. Well, let, let, let me first respond by, by asking you a question. Uh huh. Okay. So you're here today with all of your classmates, your peers. Are you enjoy are you enjoying this session today? Are you uh, just so so I mean so so okay <laughs> even even if we if we receive a so so that means that there's some yes and the fact that the fact that what, what the English language has done or language learning, so by the fact of you learning language, even though it may not be your passion, again, we come back to what I said initially in the presentation. Language is ours. Language gives you power and courage. And it gives you so much more. What language does, whether it's English or any other language, it opens up and breaks down cross-cultural boundaries. And that goes across the human to human relationships, but also from your professional goals. So that will help break down boundaries to help you truly integrate and to truly operate in a world that's becoming global. So again, I understand that sometimes it may be difficult, it may not be a passion of everyone. But the fact is, is that you, you should remain focused on what a language can do for you, in particular here, English, is that it's going to open doors, break down cross-cultural barriers, and it's going to give you power. And that power is something that you can take to decide what you want to do with your life and how you want to continue forward. So it's a, it's a, it's a vehicle, in this case, that gets you from here where you're at now to across the world or wherever you want to go. You can make those decisions. That's what this does for you. That's what English can do for you, that you can make your decisions, your own decisions, and go from there. So. OK, thank you for the explanation, Mr. Troy. Yep, the fifth question is the last question. Maybe we know from online. <laughs> Yeah, maybe from online. Any question via Zoom? Oh, okay. Uh, we have one question. Okay, please. Please stand up. Yep.
Oke, okay, um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Before I start with my questions, I want to introduce myself first. Um, my name is Nalendra Badra. I am from the architecture faculty. And I just want to talk a little bit about, um, it's kind of related with my college, from my college before. Um, so it's about learning English. Um, you see, um, in my opinion, um, Learning language really, really is kind of hard with, with um, people that are starting to get old because they are starting to um, losing their interest into learning new languages because they just felt like I'm fine with myself, I'm fine with what, who I am I now, and I'm fine with where am I now. And so um, do, um, my actual questions would be, um, do, do you have any um, plan from, um, what's, what's the name? of the app again? Rosetta, Rosetta Stone, do you have a plan from Rosetta Stone um, to actually start this, um, how should I say, like seminar, webinar? Um, so um, from starting like um, kindergarten or maybe elementary school, because that's kind of more makes sense because that's just um, develop those children's um, from younglings, from, from their youngs, um, how much the importance of English for their futures. Because the fact is um, looking for the educational system right now um, and how the class works and how the English class works in most public schools. I'm not, I'm not saying like in, in my high schools, there's, there's a lot of difference about public schools and um, private schools because public schools often get those um, quality teachers least than the um, private school, private schools. And so, do do you have any plan from um, Rosetta Stone to actually um, starting to share these apps, this software towards those children's A like from age. public schools? Yeah, because because I see it. It's more important if you do it that way rather right. than um, sharing it with with us who are already in university and have our a lot of our um, like business and right. uh, a lot of things to do. Right. Um, that's all for my questions. Um, thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi thank wabarakatuh. You, yeah. Ooh. The point from that question is. According to Rosa Stone, is there any material related to maybe the age or the possibility for everyone so they are easily understand what is the material in Rosetta Stone? Okay. Yeah. What, what a such a such a wonderful question and such insight. So I thank you for 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 uh, asking that question today and thinking about that. Um, and the answer is yes, uh, absolutely. So. Globally, we do have implementations where we have individuals uh, very young at a young age that are using the Rosetta Stone software. Instead of specifically talking about those, and, and again, we do have that globally, I want to finish up the discussion today quickly with my own personal story, if that's okay. I'll share a little insight so you can kind of understand how your question and what you asked directly affected my life and my family, okay? So real quick, um, we, my family and I have relocated to, to Germany. So currently we live living in Germany, still back and forth in the US and Germany, but Germany. We moved there when my daughter was five years old, five years old. In the home, we spoke English and French. So there's some reasons for that with my wife's family speaks French. I also speak French. Je parle français très très bien. My daughter also spoke English and French, but we moved to Germany. In Germany, what language do they speak? different languages, but they also speak the, the high German, the German. My daughter did not speak German whatsoever. So at the age of five, I allowed her access to the Rosetta Stone software to begin studying German, the German language for specifically speaking for, for speaking and listening purposes. She's now speaking fluent German. She's, it started off with her beginning to use the software as well as use uh, documents and resources and was able to then convert that into starting to make friends at the, at the preschool level, elementary school level, and now after three years, she's speaking fluent German. So my point is, is that 
using the Rosetta Stone software at that very young age is very important. And yes, we're already involved globally in doing that. And we do have resources. We have uh, various things that we can do implementations for young learners. But on my personal level, I use that with my daughter to help her get initial start to begin to speak in German so that she could integrate and begin to speak with her or her children, the children around her in her school. And it worked very well. And she's now, again, speaking fluent German. Um, I, I, fantastic, fantastic. So for me, it's a per, it was a personal thing. I understood that even for, for older people, <laughs> such as myself, or maybe I say wiser people such as myself, um, you know, language is a journey, learning languages, and I'm learning German myself right now. Ich lerne Deutsch, aber meine Deutsch ist nicht sehr gut, but I'm learning step by step. But I saw it with my daughter how quickly she picked it up. So yes, to answer your question, we yes, absolutely. We recommend to start it as soon as possible, as early as possible, and, and have implementation planning for that. Uh, but I'll leave it with this. The last thing I'll say is that learning a language, you're never too young. In, in many senses, or you're never too old. And ultimately, what language does is language provides you with education, provides you with all of that combined and working with your educators allow you to do anything that you would like to do with your life. It opens the doors to a global world that's out there, an interconnector world. So. Thank you so much, Shokan Katia, for letting me be here today. Ooh. My absolute pleasure. I should say Everyone, that. please give a voice once again to Mr. Troy. Mr. Troy, uh, Pak Budi asked me, because in your CP, you also can communicate uh, other languages except English. Maybe you can speak a little bit within other languages, such as Arabic or maybe, or French, or even um, Mandarin, maybe, yes. Oh, well, my Mandarin, uh, my, my colleagues are probably watching me online right now. So I, I can say to my colleagues, Phil, Jack, Mindy, ni hao. <laughs> ni hao wa. Um, and then I'll say, Jai, Jan. so goodbye. That's all I know in the Mandarin. It's very, very <laughs> short. Uh, but of course, um, uh, French, I, I was very fortunate to learn French in West Africa when I was a teenager. So when I was uh, roughly 16 years old. Donc, je parle français couramment, il n'y a aucun problème. Même chez nous, à la maison, on parle en français, <laughs> l'anglais. Et bon, pour l'instant, je suis en train d'apprendre l'allemand, mais quand même, c'est un peu difficile. So, OK. And then one more. And, and uh, this is the, one of the languages that I really, truly have enjoyed learning as well is Italian. I had the opportunity to live in Italy for several years. So, anche posso parlare abbastanza bien in italiano. Ho vissuto a Milano per quasi due, due anni e mezzo, però adesso ho dimenticato l'italiano completamente. <laughs> in, in Arabic language, what does it mean? <laughs> okay, so in Arabic language, I actually I had the, the honor to live in the country of Chad in Central Africa, where they speak Arabic, so it's a, a Chadian dialect. So, on the, so yeah, so, shukran. On, 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 and with that said, I would say, Shokan Katiri Masalam. Okay. Mr. Troy, please uh, stay on the test oh, yeah. stage. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sure. For the next agenda is giving souvenir for Mr. Troy as the keynote speaker today. That the souvenir will be given by Curriculum Affairs. Mr. Satya Budi. Okay, Pabudi and Mr. Troy just in the stage. Also, a giving certificate from Rosetta Stone Indonesia for ITB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta. This certificate will be given to Bapak Setia Budi and also Bapak Yayat Sujatna.
together. Yep. Foto bersama. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Troy, Pak Setia Budi, and also Pak Yayat. You may be to your seat. The next agenda is motivation session that will be delivered by Professor Dr. Kusmawan, MBA, DBA. The time and the place is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Since I am not a speaker, I only a motivator. So I can speak dua bahasa. Bahasa Indonesia? Nah, siap. Motivators. Ntar saya ngomong bahasa Inggris, gak ada yang mengerti gimana. Nah, coba ya, I want to speak in bahasa Inggris. I hope all of you understand, oke? Okay? Okay. Bismillahirrohmanirrohim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessing to us. So we are now living in the best of health and high spirit in study in ITB Ahmad Dahlan. Do you understand? Yeah. Coba kita dengarkan. Ngerti gak nih? Yeah. Ada yang berani gak? Ada yang berani? Siapa yang berani? Aduh harus saya mengulang lagi. Aduh saya ulangi ulangi ya. Bismillahirrohmanirrohim. First of all, I would like to thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessing to us. So we are now living in the best of health and high spirit in studying English from Mr. Troy. Because the language is... Oke. Pertama saya ingin mengucapkan syukur kepada Allah Subhanahu taala atas rahmat yang diberikan kepada kita semua dan kita sangat bangga diberi rahmat bisa kuliah di TB Ahmad Dahlan Jakarta. Woo, very nice. Good. Nice translator ya. Itu satu anu ya, satu ilmu itu menerjemahkan. Siap. Wah, satu lagi nih, harus berani. Awas pelan-pelan ya. I'm very happy today because all of you listen and hear the English language, the English speaking for the foreigners, especially from United States of America. Kusmawan has been there only for man, ya, yeah. ya. Yeah. <laughs> In MSU, what is MSU? Michigan State University. Ah, ya. Yeah. I only for man in Michigan, in the city of East Lansing, East Lansing. Ya, yeah. I'm very happy only for man in America. Siap terjemahkan, saya berani. <laughs> Aduh gimana nih? Ayo ayo terima kasih. Ngapa apa? Secara umum ya. Aduh. 
coba terjemahkan I I I love you nggak <tuk> <tuk> bisa mana mana ada ah dengarkan nih siap siap Uh, saya bahagia hari ini karena bisa belajar uh, mendengar uh, berbicara dan mendengar bahasa Inggris dari Mr. Troy. Uh, orang Amerika asli. Awas. Because if you hear English from me, from myself, this is English with Sundanese action. Eh, Sundanese apa? Apa? Action, action, action. Betul ya? With Sundanese action. Nah, aksen, aksen ya. So, we have to be careful, careful ya. Sometimes, ah, the meaning will be different. Ah, awas ya. The, yeah, the meaning will be different. For example, Yeah, I buy a glass. Nah, 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 nah. Kalau diucapkan kemarin gimana? I bought a glass. A glass. Awas, satu lagi. Tolong kesempatan ya. I love you so much. And I never, I never, never, never love to anybody. Siapa ah. yang berani? Siapa yang berani? Cepat, aduh. Gerakan, ah. yang keras ya. Beri, beri, beri. Oh, Oke, okay, itu yang gayanya, Wak. I love you so much and never 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 love anybody. Satu <laughs> uh, Saya mencintai kamu sangat saya, saya sangat mencintai kamu dan tidak pernah mencintai orang lain. <laughs> Dalam bahasa Indonesia jangan berpaling ke lain hati. Ah. Terjemahkan Pak Budi. <laughs> ya. Jangan berpaling ke lain hati. Itulah tanda cinta. Baik. Uh, thank you very much. So we are very enthusiastic yeah, to hear from you. I hope it will develop our English language. It is very important for us. Yeah? And untuk ibu-ibu dosen, nah ibu-ibu dosen juga semoga ini menjadi motivasi. Yeah? Motivasi pada kita semua. Sehingga, nah saya usulkan mulai semester depan, dosen hanya boleh slide dalam bahasa Inggris. Tepuk tangan. Ah, gitu ya. Slide ya. Lecture must give a slide in in, uh, in English ya. Yeah. Whatever the uh, the science. Yeah. For example, English language of course must be uh, slide in English like that ya. Yeah. Mathematic yeah. in English ya. Yeah. History in English. Language in English, although Indonesian language, but dosen must explain in English. Ya, insya Allah ya, for the next semester. Oke, okay? siap kalian? Do you ready? Oke. Okay? <laughs> language is power. Ya, yeah. wherever you go with language, you can develop your science. You can know each other and speak. With them, ya, yeah? di mana saja. Nah, and I hope that all of you will study abroad in English-speaking country, like apa? 
England, Australia, apa? England, apa? USA. Mengapa? Nah, this my experience. I study in Netherlands. Bahasanya bahasa Belanda. Alas hut, hey, al 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 mal, mas Kristo, mas Kripot, ikhlas, apa tu? Apa tu? Eh, eh, tiga ni pelan pelan, pelan pelan. Men student, listen me, and you have bekerit for what it say. Bekerit ya? Wah. Apa? Siapa yang berani ayo? Ada yang sedikit Belanda. Saya katakan, all of you must be understand in Netherlands language, ya. Bekerit apa tu bekerit? Do you understand? Bekerib ye, alas put apa tu alas put? Ayo, ini pintar pintar ni apa alas put alas put apa? Semuanya baik baik aja. Semuanya baik baik. Wei tepuk tangan ya, banyak yang ngerti ya alas put ya. Alas alas put menir, ini jalan baik. Alas put menir, okay. Kemudian ini dosen dosen tolong pertahankan agar Bahasa Inggris ini dikembangkan setiap hari. Ya ibu-ibu ya, bapa mana Pak dosen yang kelihatan ni? Ah, bapa dosen, bapa ini bapa dosen ni paman ya. Tolong mulai fenster depan, slide nya dalam bahasa Inggris. Ya, ya, ya. Jadi, kamu boleh terjemahkan di rumah. Ya, you can translate it at home, but the slide from lecture must be in English. Ya, otherwise there is no development. Ya. For us, without try and try to develop our English, ya termasuk saya pribadi ya. Nah, saya hidupnya di negara apa? Netherland, speaking Netherland, speaking French, ngomong telefu, ada yang bisa jawab? Ngomong telefu, ayo jawab. Agar bisa, kan? Ngomong telefu, so, ayo. Ngomong telefu. Terima kasih, terima kasih kamu. Apa kata ya? Yo, itu bahasa Perancis. Saya bilang Pak, apa kabar? Jawapan beliau, Trebiang, Merci buku, Fuziet Tresonti. Tepuk tangan dong. Bapa baik sekali, bapa pintar sekali. Terima kasih atas kehormatan dari bapa. Itu kata beliau tu, ya. Thanks a lot, Pak. Okay, apa lagi ni? Ah, saya lagi. Pertahankan ya kesenangan seperti ini diskusi dalam bahasa Inggris tolong dipertahankan ya mudah-mudahan Pak dengan semangat seperti ini hari ini adalah awal dari segalanya ya bukan akhir segalanya awal dari segalanya untuk kalian memahami bahasa Inggris dengan baik ya bahasa adalah kekuatan. Kalau kalian pintar bahasa, apalagi bahasa Inggris, insya Allah kalian akan cepat jadi sarjana, cepat jadi magister, cepat doktor, ya, dan bahkan menjadi profesor. Tepuk tangan, tepuk tangan. Ya, sekianlah. Jadi saya ulangi, saya doakan, I pray God for all of you that you will continue your study in English speaking country, not like me, ya. Tidak seperti saya. Sekolahnya di mana? Di Belanda. Alas hut, Verdomse, hah? Itu Belanda, ya. Tapi kamu semoga saya doakan sekolah di English speaking country, ya. Boleh Australia, boleh USA, boleh England. Ada lagi mana lagi? Kanada. Wah, polis ya. Tapi jangan di Madagaskar ya. Jangan di Madagaskar ya. Itu mah Afrika. Oke, baiklah. Saya kira itu saja ya. Semoga. Baik. I hope, I hope my motivation will catch by them and they continue to improve English from you. Ya. Thank you very much, Mr. Ray. Thank you very much, Mr. Ray. Thank you very much for all of you, and again I'm happy yeah to see all of you with the 
good spirit ya yeah? in English ya yeah? with good spirit and very kind hearted and you possess enthusiasm yeah? enthusiasm to uh, see Mr. Troy ya yeah? thank you Mr. Troy your speak make motivation to our student ya yeah? oke okay, terima kasih teman-teman sekalian ibu-ibu Mr. Roy dan juga <laughs> if we mix the language in bahasa Indo Sunda to now noun ah bagaimana bagaimana ah, ah ya yeah, yeah. saya bicara dua bahasa ya yeah. now noun saya <laughs> <laughs> Saya enggak dimarah. He doesn't not angry to me because I speak in two languages, ya, yeah? in bahasa and uh, English. And he said, "The now noun." <laughs> do you do, do you understand what this mean? Huh? In English, in English. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. Oke, okay, tepuk tangan semuanya ya. <laughs> Terima kasih, terima kasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you so much, Profesor Kusmawan, for your motivation. It's such a great motivation. Okay, for the next agenda is testimonies from students of ITB Ahmad Dahlan, Jakarta, related to the use of Rosetta Stone application for English language learning. Here is the video and also online or offline. Happy watching, everyone. Director of Institute. Afternoon, everyone. The Honorable Mr. Dr. Mukhair Pakana, Rector of Institute Technology and Business Ahmad Dahlan, The Honorable Mr. Professor Kusmawan, Professor of Institute Technology and Business Ahmad Dahlan, The Honorable Mr. Troy D. Tylus, Global Strategist or Cross-Cultural Advisor from Rosetta Stone, USA. And the Honorable Audience, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hendrik Virajaya. Today I am here to share how important it is to master the English language. For a long time, English has been said to be the second language of Indonesia, as it is often used in schools, university, and of course, in the working world. Especially is how the economic globalization has become more and more massive. More foreign investors and companies have already entered the Indonesia's economy. So the need to master the English language is inevitable and urgently needed. And that particular reason is what made me interested to study English more intently. And that's what leads me to believe that Rosetta Stone is one of the best methods of learning English. Based on my experience to learning English compared to other learning institutes, Rosetta Stone is the best way chosen by ITB Ahmad Dahla. Uh, what I want to highlight is the method of learning English by Rosetta Stone is much more advanced and practical with the concept of web-based learning and application at smartphones It makes learning and practicing English easier to do from anywhere, at any situation, at any given time. In the end, it has a positive impact to everyone who uses it. And for the university, ITB Ahmad Dahlan itself, it also brings a positive impact to them. Because the standard quality of mastering and the ability of both speaking and understanding English language can be achieved. Last but not least, for all my friends and colleagues, let's continue practicing in improving to expertise English. 
once you have started something, you have got to finish it. See you on top. That's all for today. Thanks to Ms. Velma for giving me this opportunity. My apologies if any of the words are spoken isn't that pleasing to the heart. Thank you and thank you. Next testimony, please. Okay, thank you for Miss Moderator for the time. First, okay. <laughs> Okay. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Zain Pratama. I'm from Digital Economy Faculty, majoring management, and I'm here to give my testimonials about Rosetta Stone. Oh, okay. uh, from fifth semester. Sorry. Firstly, I wanted to explain myself about Rosetta Stone. Okay. Rosetta Stone is the app which provides a lot of languages around the world that can we choose the one or more with AI based on learning services. Secondly, this app is good for the beginner, beginners to learn foraging languages and also helps the people find new words, sentences, and the conversations which is needed in the work or meeting with strangers from different countries. Thirdly, this app was UI friendly, which makes people access the many easier. And so many features like speaking, listening, writing, and many more. That is interesting, I'll give it a try. My opinion about Rosetta Stone is this app was fulfill my expectations greatly. I mean, this app is great and yeah, and I almost enjoy all of these features when I'm here, up there, and uh, it's fun and entertaining. The system, the learning methods, and the UI, the activities, everything. I would like to recommend my friends to try Rosetta Stone. Maybe they will like it. There's my opinions from uh, uh, about Rosetta Stone. Thank you for attention, attention, everyone. Okay. I think my infinite was too short. Sorry about that. Maybe this man who is beside me will gonna give a lot more to complete my testimonials. Here's the make for you, Mr. Okay, thank you, my friend, Miss Zen, Zen Pratama. Uh, I, uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself. My name is Ziki Shafa Mubarak, and I want to, I am from fifth semester from faculty digital economy and mayoring management right. uh, rosetta for me is uh, the best the best place to learn english why because in the first we get a placement test in this i think in this placement test will be uh, uh, in this placement test we give it a try to test our uh, how far we master the language, right? And when the placement test is done, we get our result where we uh, where we are in level cipher, cipher, right? Yeah, cipher in there. Like me, I was in C1, yeah. Wow. Okay. And yeah, after the test, uh, we had a choice to choose what field we interest in. So we can expert expertise the communication in there. Like me, I choose the business meetings, yeah. And then in when I doing a course it is a lot of uh, material that essential for me it is useful to expert my english skills because 
uh, there is so much uh, what is in Indonesia uh, uh, I forget what name it is uh, but in course uh, we give, we have what is it yeah uh, there's so much verb new verb that I had known I mean uh, I don't know the word before but when I do a course there's so much a word that I don't know earlier All right and then uh, after we take a course uh, we had a proficiency test. Now, in the proficiency test, I think it is very useful to me to measure to measure how far uh, my ability in English after the course. Uh, that is uh, very, very useful for my evalu evaluation next time I do a course. Right? And the report was detailed. Uh, it given me how much minute I had uh, doing a course and how much, how far I get, uh, what is it, uh, the words and something like that. And yes, the, finally, the test is uh, give you a certificate of achievement, yeah, right? Uh, in the end of proficiency test, it is very, very nice because it can boost your uh, spirits to keep up the grade more and more. That is for me. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the testimonies. So once again, Rosetta Stone is really suitable application for us to upgrade our skill in English language particularly. Ladies and gentlemen, we have already reached the last session. Let's close our agenda today. Thank you for your coming. Let's recite by Hamdalah. Alhamdulillah, Thank you so much once again for your coming online and offline. So we'll see you next time for the Rosetta Stone session. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Foto bersama dulu ya Pak. Ya. Foto bersama dulu Bapak. Kita ya Bapak dan Ibu dosen monggo. Ya, Bapak silakan. Thank you for being one of the audience tonight and making my dream come true.